All right, so this is gonna be my year-end wrap-up video. I'm gonna be going over some of my favorite shots that I shot this year, go over a couple cameras that I've been using, you know, just do a kind of year-end wrap-up. But first we need to go from Pennsylvania back to Tennessee. So I'll see you there. Yeah, so that's pretty much every camera minus my Mamiya and my Instax Wide that I used in 2016. I was just going through my Flickr and I realized that, you know, I had already sold my Mamiya at the end of last year. I would say that I, I used my Baronica ETRS, Canon Canonet QL17, and my Canon FT, along with my Nikon N. What is it? N2000? Yeah, Nikon N2000. Those were pretty much the cameras I used all year. You know, I used the N2000 for pretty much the whole first half of the year. Shooting just Tri-X, black and white. I just loved that camera. It was so quick to use. You know, there's no dials on it. There's no, you know, crazy bells or whistles. It's just an automatic camera. You load it. I shot it on Aperture Priority. Just went for it. I got the Canon. FT for Christmas, Christmas or my birthday of 2015, and the lens that I had didn't work for it, so I ended up not using it until the middle of the year at a flea market. I found a 50 millimeter lens, and then the Canon FT kind of just turned into my everyday camera. I retired the Nikon and just loved that camera. You know, it's an old mechanical camera. As you can see, you know, you wind the film yourself, you know, there's no automatic settings. I mean, you can put it on aperture priority, I believe. You know, I don't even know, there might be an auto setting on it, but I really don't think there is. And I have a ton of the batteries that it takes because of shooting the Canonet. And I also shoot the Canonet all the time. That, that was, those two cameras in the beginning to middle to almost end of the year were like my everyday cameras. I didn't end up using the Baronica as much as I had planned when I bought it. Just because, like I've expressed in my Baronica video, I didn't really care for the negative size. It wasn't like the 6x7 when I was shooting my Mamiya. It's just 6x4.5. It looks almost like 35 millimeter. I mean, don't get me wrong, the camera takes beautiful pictures and I, I do enjoy using it and it's definitely a crowd pleaser. When I'm out and about, people are always like, is that a Hasselblad? And I'm like, no, I wish. I really wish it was. But um, that, that camera, it just didn't turn into my favorite like I thought it would. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to put this video together quickly in kind of like a retrospect of 2016. I shot some of my favorite photos this year and I really feel like I was at work tonight. I was sitting at work and I was just like, man, I finally feel like I found my style. Like I found, I don't even have to like 
try anymore. I just know what I want to shoot and I shoot it. I finally feel comfortable. You know, I think you'll you'll see this through the process of I'm going to start from January and go all the way until December in the pictures that I'm going to show you here. And hopefully you feel the same way that you kind of feel like I started to to get my style. At least that's how I felt. But yeah, let's take a look at these photos and I'll catch you afterwards. We'll do a little talking about what I have coming up in 2017. And man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to talk to you guys. Enjoy these photos. I'll see you in a minute. So that wraps up 2016. Now, I wanted to talk about what's coming up in 2017 with this channel. I was thinking about it long and hard, and I pay for a website, and I really need to start using said website. So I think when I do these videos and I post the pictures in there, I'm going to do a little bit of a blog post on my website as well. So, you know, there'll be some more information, maybe a little more behind the scenes. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, there's the name. Put it in your phone. 
follow me on Instagram because I'm going to start using Instagram stories to do a lot of behind the scenes of me shooting the photos. I don't use Instagram stories yet, but I do mess around a little bit with Snapchat, but I feel like Instagram stories is going to be my home for expressing the photography end of things. I just feel like it'd be a lot easier. I have more of a following on there than I do on Snapchat, and I hope you guys come over to my Instagram to watch my Instagram stories. So in between videos, you get to see what I'm doing, and hopefully, I don't know if there's a way to save Instagram stories, like Snapchat stories, but hopefully I can incorporate them into the videos as well. Because, you know, I would love to have somebody follow me to shoot me while I shoot these pictures, just so you get an idea of how I do my full process. Because I would love to go from beginning to end. You know, I always try to, but it's just really hard to lug this big, this thing, you, around with me and then shoot and not look extremely awkward when I'm doing a lot of the stuff that I'm doing that involves, you know, especially people and stuff like that. It just makes it hard. I'm really gonna try to beef it up. So I'm gonna do blog posts at least once a week on Wednesdays are gonna be my tech videos like I told you before. We're gonna do a camera review or a film stock review or just kind of like a overall what I think kind of thing, maybe do a, you know, a C41 developing video. I have two videos, like I said, I think in my last video, in the works. I just haven't started recording them because I did go home to Pennsylvania for almost a week and a half. Well, no, it was more just like eight or nine. It was like nine days or something like that. It wasn't a week and a half. You know, that kind of put a halt. That's why I didn't post in the last week or two. As for scheduling, still, for these videos, Wednesdays are a definite day for this video. Wednesdays are going to be my tech review video and then I think I'm just gonna take my Friday video and turn that into a Sunday night video because that just makes it easier I'm done with work no matter what by 4 o'clock on a Sunday night so Sunday evening just sounds like a better night I've put out two of them already of kind of just like what I shot this week video and that's I'm gonna keep that going on Sundays so Wednesdays tech reviews Sundays you know the whole weekly review and then in between you can follow me on Instagram watch my Instagram stories because I'm really gonna try to keep you filled in on you know what I'm shooting where I'm shooting at and stuff like that man 2016 was a good year and I learned a lot like this channel started as a daily vlog which was awesome because I learned so much about shooting video in the four months that I filmed every single day. Plus I got the nail out of time lapse project that I'm still really proud of. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a little link in the description below. If you're into stuff like that, man, 2016 is finally over. Let's get this for 2017. It's going to be a big year. I'm going to be putting out two books this year and I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be nailing these YouTube videos on the regular. I promise you that. I'm going to bring you some quality, quality photography, film related content. All right. I hope you guys had a great new year, great holiday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys Sunday because it's Wednesday. I'll see you Sunday.